Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be going over the entire fruity Nike SB pack. I finally accomplished my goal of me being a completionist. So let's take a quick little sneak peek at each of these different colors. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. If you are joining us for the first time, welcome in. This is really exciting. This overview is just going to be talking about the entire fruity pack. I can't believe I actually have each and every single fruit added to the list of what I needed to complete this uh, collection. I think a lot of you probably saw some older footage of me talking about these different colorways at a sneaker con event, which seems like forever ago. I think it was private selection that had these first. So I was able to talk about them at their table. I actually don't think they had the complete pack though, because they had sold the cherry. So this is nice. This is the first time I'm actually having each pair on one table all together like a family. Uh, so I have yet to decide or I guess we'll decide at the end of this video which colorway is my favorite. So as you know by the name, the Fruity Pack, each of these was given a fruit. So we've got three Nike SB Dunk low variations and then we got one high variation. So the high is the pineapple fruit and each of the tongues you'll see on the interior has a face on it and the right and left side of the tongue are actually different faces so typically it's one that's kind of dazed and confused or smiley and then the other one's usually scared because it looks like it's going to be eaten and the only key difference from the high actually that i noticed is that this is the only variation that actually doesn't have tumbled leather on it it's more of a canvas texture uh, so i would say that the under lays of this are a little bit more on the affordable side of things and not as nice of quality as you're going to see on the low variations. Uh, as far as the three low variations go, we got the green apple, which is in this beautiful, nice pop of green to kind of mimic the shades of a Granny Smith apple. Then of course, we've got our cherry colorway, which I didn't actually get to capture initially in that first video when I was showcasing the pack, but this again, definitely resonates a cherry and it has of course some cute little cherries on the inside that look scared. And last but not least, we have the blue raspberry. What I actually thought initially was the blueberry, but then I realized, oh, this is definitely not a blueberry on the inside of the tongue. That is a cute little dazed and confused uh, raspberry. But as far as it goes, I feel like out of all of these different colors, I think I transitioned from the cherry being my favorite color to actually the blue raspberry, I feel like is going to take the gold medal uh, on the stand here. I don't think the pineapple is actually gonna make it on the podium, unfortunately. Uh, just because I feel like as far as quality goes, this is by far not even in the same standing as the low variations go. Uh, but again, these definitely each have their own quirks to them. Definitely, I feel like the cherry is going to be more of a good color scheme to work into the fall and uh, winter time. And red is definitely going to be one of those trending statement pieces. So I feel like this could be something as the cooler temperatures hit New York will be the sneaker I actually am more driven towards wearing. But right now in the summertime, I feel like the blue raspberry, maybe the green apple are the ones I'm really gearing towards just because they're nice, bright pops of colors. All right, so definitely let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite fruit or color scheme out of this pack of four? As far as the retail value goes for each of these, the lows ran at $110 retail while the high was 120. As far as the resale price point goes for each of these, I would say that the blue raspberry or the green apple are probably doing the best out of the color schemes, of course, depending on your size range. So the blue raspberries are going between 200 to 350 while the green apples are going between 270 to 400 
And then the cherries, a little bit lower. These are going between 135 to 240, while the pineapples you can actually get below retail right now for a steal if this is one of the fruits you were interested in getting. But again, in comparison to these three, it's just doesn't kind of belong, I feel like. Anyways, uh, thank you so much everyone for tuning into this overall completion of the free SB pack. Really excited to have these all together as a family now. Uh, but if you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all next episode.